While the Pfizer and Moderna COVID-19 vaccines continue to be administered nationwide under an emergency authorization status, the Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research has just begun clinical trials for the Novavax vaccine. So far, we're not having any adverse reactions to report of any significance. So that's good news. Novavax is the third drug maker to develop a COVID-19 vaccine that does not require injecting a person with the actual COVID-19 virus. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joining us live to explain why. Researchers say this third vaccine could be a game changer when it comes to fighting the coronavirus. Eric? Yes, well, there is already a lot of stress on Moderna and uh, also the Pfizer uh, to, uh, companies to produce enough doses of their vaccines. However, if Novavax is able to get uh, government uh, approval to uh, get that emergency use status following the vaccine trials that are taking place behind these glass doors, that would be a game changer uh, because it would help pick up the slack. This is an entire virus and this little red attachment is actually a spike protein. Spike protein is the key part of COVID-19 that's responsible for infecting human cells. And according to Dr. Michael Corin of the Jacksonville Center for Clinical Research, a portion of spike protein is what drug maker Novavax has put into its vaccine. So the concept here is that instead of showing the whole virus to people, which can have all kinds of complications, just the critical part of the virus is presented to the immune system so that your immune system is prepared to fight it if you ever get confronted with the virus. The Jacksonville Clinical Research Center has just started the Novavax vaccine trial. So far, they have enrolled close to 100 participants. Gagan Gupta is one of the trial participants who allowed News for Jacks to video record the process he went through. So you're going to go in for the next seven days and fill out First, he received specific instructions about monitoring his health. Then he was required to perform a COVID-19 nasal swab test. Then he had to take a blood test. His COVID-19 and blood test came back fine. The next step was receiving the shot. Hopefully I don't get the placebo and I'll have the immunization. Uh, the reason I decided to take part in it is because, well, just like everyone else, I'm ready for this whole thing to be over. It's unknown if he received the actual vaccine or was only given a placebo. Dr. Corn says if trial participants are presented an opportunity to receive the Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, they will have to first consult with the Clinical Research Center to be notified if they were given the actual Novavax vaccine. As it stands right now, researchers are not sure if a person will experience adverse immune reactions after receiving two different types of COVID-19 vaccines. Now, it's worth mentioning that the Novavax vaccine must be stored in a freezer, but nowhere near the frigid temperatures required uh, for the Moderna and the Pfizer vaccines. Of course, for more information on the Novavax vaccine, you can go to our website, newsforjax.com. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.